guys, it's Try It Tuesday. Today we are going to be experimenting with buoyancy and we're asking the question, will it sink or float? Now, before you start throwing anything into a container of water, make sure you have permission from your parents first. I'm gonna be exploring these clementines. So check back in just a little bit and see what results we get with a clementine that is in its peel and a clementine outside of its peel. I can't wait to see what happens. Talk to you later. Okay, so we're ready to start our experiment here. I just have one pretty large vase of water. Now you could do this with any cup, just gotta make sure that you don't have too much water in it because when you put in your object, it might overflow. So we're gonna start off first with a clementine that is unpeeled. That means its peel is still on. We're gonna put it in the water. I'm just gonna gently push it. I'm not gonna put it in. And oh, that definitely, definitely is a float. All right, so I peeled a clementine. So here it is, it doesn't have its peel on anymore, which is removing some mass from this clementine. So we're gonna see without the peel, will this clementine sink or float? And it goes, oh, it's, it's going slowly, but it's definitely finding its way to the bottom of the vase. So we have our peel on is floating, and our peel off is at the bottom there, it has sunk. So what's the deal? Why did the peel clementine sink to the bottom while the clementine with the peel stayed at the top? Well, we might have removed some mass when we removed the peel, but there's a layer of air that that peel holds around the clementine that makes it float. Just like when you're in the pool and you have a floaty on filled with air, the air keeps the clementine up at the top of the water when we take that peel off, there's actually a lot of space that air used to uh, take up. And now that space is filled with the water. So the clementine now has more weight, takes on some of that water, and it sinks to the bottom. Make sure you try out some different things around your house and let us know what sinks and what floats.